All right, here's today's money-saving tip. So you're looking for the newest iPhone, which I believe is now iPhone 720. S, I think. But in case you haven't heard, iPhone 720S is quite expensive. And same with iPhone 719R. So here are a few simple hacks to save you some money if you want to buy an iPhone. First, and I hate to break it to you, but don't go for the 720. Latest best models are always obviously the most expensive ones. However, once they come out, that's a good thing because it means the slightly older models suddenly go on sale. Also, the new ones might have some bugs in it that haven't yet been caught. And so if you're up for it, buy a refurbished one or a used one. They're usually warranted and they're actually really good quality. Not to mention much cheaper. Just make sure you're buying it from a reputable source. And in other words, don't buy one on a peer-to-peer -peer site. Next, make sure you're actually trading in your current device and there's a specific way to do it. Shop around for the best place to trade it in. Most tech experts will say that's usually gonna be Apple's trade-in program, which means you're literally trading it in directly to Apple, which by the way, also accepts other Apple devices like iPads and watches. And fun fact, some Android phones. You'll be able to see the value that they're offering you. And if you're not crazy about it, you can always shop around somewhere else. Next, check your carrier or store for deals. But don't be afraid to actually buy one directly from Apple. Because believe it or not, again, most tech experts will tell you Apple directly is going to have the cheapest price. That said, the carriers like Verizon, AT&T, all those things will often offer deals or discount packages if you were to buy a new one. So sometimes that just makes sense, which really speaks to the next tip, which is wait for the right time to buy. Pretty universal standard for pretty much everything, but especially for iPhones, because whether you're going directly through Apple or through a carrier, you are going to find a deal. Most times, you shouldn't pay a full price. Finally, while most of these tips are going to apply to buying an iPhone straight up all cash, it might be actually smarter to do a payment plan. Every carrier is going to be different, but what you should definitely check out is Apple's iPhone upgrade program. You pay a set monthly cost for both your new iPhone and your Apple Care Plus coverage. After you've made 12 payments, you can trade in your current iPhone and get a new one, or pay another 12 months and keep your current device. In other words, this works out really well for people who want a new iPhone every year, kind of like leasing a car. But of course, just remember that also means that that you don't own it, which means if you were to ever want to trade it in, you can't because you don't have any value. There you go. Good luck. I personally am going to be waiting out the 720 and waiting instead for the iPhone 6 billion A, B, C, D, E.